Hey everyone, welcome back to Form Therapy. This is The Culture Study. I'm the channel's video producer and your host. You can call me PD. And today we are checking out NCT 127's latest comeback. This is AYO. Uh, this is, I believe, the repackage off of their Two Baddies Faster album, uh, which was fantastic. Uh, if you want to check that out, we did a listening party for it on our album. Shout out to Hechan, who um, I, I heard he was out, and I believe they said he's uh, resuming uh, like his promotions with uh, this comeback. So yeah, shout out to Hechan. I have, uh, I mean, I have missed him. He was missing in some award show stages, I think. So uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, before we get into today's video, let's actually promote our Patreon real quick. If you guys enjoy our content, we actually don't make money doing the YouTube videos. Any AdSense you see goes straight back to the label or the distributor. So if you want to help promote the channel and want to keep us going, I really enjoy doing this. So I do even more reactions over on our Patreon. Uh, we do bonus uh, reactions to variety content, K-dramas, animes. Uh, we do live stage reactions, dance practices. If I like AO, uh, if I love AO, I, I'll definitely check out those, which I probably will. I did a bunch for Two Baddies as well. Um, and I'll do a listening party for the album as well, for the repackage. So if you want to check that out, come join us. Of course, you don't have to support us monetarily if you don't want to. We only put our content there due to copyright. We can't put everything here. Uh, if you want to support us, you could always just uh, hit the like button down below, leave a comment, and uh, always subscribe down below as well. We really appreciate it. All right, let's get into the video. This is Ayo by NCT127, and this is your form of therapy. Oh my, Mark. Oh, his hair. Oh, it's been a while since K-pop sung something with hair like that. Oh, Headshot looks so good. It's up to you, what you want to do. Seven repackages, oh, SM re repackages of studio albums always reign supreme. Oh my god. Hail! Oh my god! Johnny! Oh my god! Chongu, oh, Chongu's just been doing. Oh, Chongu's just been. how they're mixing in the strobing with editing. Wow. Damn. Woo. Oh my god. Hey yo. Hey Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh my god. He looks Beautiful, damn. Oh my god. Tell me, baby. Oh, oh my god. Why do they all look so? She emoted up a body as she put him by me on in the shirt, then you look up there, some dirty yaki. Oh my goodness, my monitor fell over. I'm still watching. What's up? 
새벽은 오니 갈망을 멈추지 마 고민 없이 I'm sorry Oh I I see I see Oh yeah Oh yeah Oh yeah Oh yeah Oh yeah Oh yeah It's It's over It's over For Superhuman That is by That is Easily my favorite 127 title track Of all time And I don't know how they keep doing that Intermittently one one comeback every couple years, they de like for me, Superhuman was like it, it's not just like oh it's N it's NCT One Two Seven's best song, I think it's it, it it's two things, it feels like it's their ultimate song at the time because they always are per it's like sorry it's the I think it's the perfect storm of. NCT 127 goes through these transitions and these phases, but then they hit constant peaks before they go through a new transition. And I feel like they're in that peak right now. And then it's just a matter of like fate, really, of getting like the right song and like, you know, the timing of it matching, of like them being in like the right state of mind and the right kind of moment in their lives. And then the right song. And I think it's, it's like the, the definitive NCT 127 song. Um, but beyond that too, it's, uh, I think just an amazing, amazing record. Uh, I, I think AO is just, wow. I mean, AO is like one of the songs to beat for the year for me already, already. Um, you know, with RM, uh, in December, I was like, you can't release music this and like <laughs> this amazing, this late and just like kind of upend everything. I heard this year, and for one two seven, I mean, hey yo, hey yo, like hey yo, like that is, that is unfair to release that like right at the end of January. This is how we start the year. Okay, um, we have the same kind of um, hip hop R and B influence. You know, if you guys watched my uh, XG Shooting Star video, uh, you should check it out. My reaction for that's pretty dope as well. But if you check that out, you know, we were discussing how the R&B sound is be becoming much more prevalent in K-pop. Uh, and Shooting Star did something cool of mixing it with like a much more harder hip hop beat, uh, which not all of the R&B songs uh, from last year have done. Um, and 127 did the exact same thing. Now, they don't incorporate the Y2K fashion and stuff like that. Also, the Y2K fashion seems to largely be for, for girl groups, um, although there are some boy groups that do it. I think, you know what, looking at this, it, they might do it for like maybe their album photos, but <sighs> this video, I was actually surprised. It's a mix of that Y2K fashion here, but then it had a weird level, like the video... Yeah, it's the fashion that had it, but the video didn't. You know, if you think of the a lot of those releases, uh, XG, New Jeans, um, uh, stuff like that, even the videos have like that very much more, you know, uh, retro vibe to it uh, or um, having references to that kind of stuff, but not this. It NCT, I guess it's also because they always have a very strong brand with their videos, but... This one had a very strange, weird, uh, dark and sexy vibe to it. I don't know what it is. It it, it was as imag imaginative as a, I feel like, an anime and some of their stylings um, and specifically their hair stylings um, uh, as well. It's very, very like fashionable and uh, very fashion forward with uh, the hair and stuff like that. But it's the vibe of the video. It has like this weird, uh, heavy aura to it. You hear it and you just feel like they're seducing you. You just feel like you're just being sucked in and it's just, 
whoa, I, I, I don't know what I really witnessed right now. So I definitely have to watch it again. If you guys are down, uh, let's check it out. Here we go. I mean, just when we start alone with the doors hey, uh, marking the red. Uh, oh, my God. Things will never be the same like Are you ready? Uh, uh. Storm of Paradigm is coming. I love this top line too. Yeah. Just the way they're holding those lines, especially going from Taeyong, who just like really, really, really strains and then fries his voice right there. And then Hechan coming in with like the lighter, higher, smoother tone. It's such a nice balance. Yeah. Oof. It's up to you what you wanna do. And of course, a lot of uh, circular imagery, uh, which you often do f to give like a seductive effect in videos or mesmerizing effects. And look out for that in other videos, but a lot of like the tr like turning of the camera in 360 directions. They want you to fall in love with Jayon. I mean, they don't really need to try this hard, but damn. Woof. Now that was interesting. There is such a very, very heavy American R&B vibe to certain parts of this song and this video. Specifically, this tail scene right here is insane. This handheld pulling up to him like... Oh, whoops. Woof! Getting up in his face. Oh, my God. Whoa, and the all white coats, like, woo! Utah's nuts. Ah, oh, I loved how they edited, edited it on their rapping, the spacing of it. Woo! Oh, it's so sense. Really gives it a sexy, sexy vibe. But it's the vocals that give it like this. Epic, epic vibe to it as well. Hey, yo. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is so, oh my, dancing mark. Wow, all of Tail's scenes are so sexy. Man, Tail is so sexy in this video, like. Shout out if this is the sec, if this is the sexiest Tail has ever been. Listen, I'm not like the biggest 127 fan. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know everything, but I definitely feel like Damn, I wish Tail had some more lines in certain songs. You know, this feels like one of the title tracks. I feel like I've heard Tail have the most lines, and he, he's killing it. Um, he's he's amazing, and he's sexy too. Like he's like getting the like respect he deserves. It's oh, it's so satisfying. Oh my god, Johnny. Wow. It's so interesting how they really like nail with this video. And I think it has to do with the whole sexy seduction thing. Um, the video, uh, a lot of the design is around giving it both a claustrophobic and an expansive feeling, which then gives your mind that like that kind of stuff you're like, oh, it's getting hot in here sort of vibes, but also like, oh, what could happen? You know, uh, it, it, it's triggering both things. Like the design for like this room is really cool. But even like headshot in like this tight cramped, again, the claustrophobia and then the expansive black set right after that claustrophobic headshot scene, right? So the director is uh, trying to make you uh, be super, super, super whipped by Woo, 
Oh, the edits there were awesome on Hanshan right there. I love this chorus. These synths are insane. Oh my god. This sounds like a Timbaland song, basically. Oh my god, I love this so much. Hey, yo. Poor Young looks insane. Like the sexiest anime anti hero I've ever seen in my life. He looks so beautiful. Ooh. Man, that close up shot on Mark was insane. Wow, they zoomed in on him too. Oh, that's so cool. One more time. And then he goes back down. Oh, oh my god, one more time. That's so cool! Fucking Zen Utah. They're fucking flying on air. You can't stop them. They can do whatever. Oh my god. They're superhuman. They've achieved superhuman status now. Oh my god. 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 127. That was nuts. That video was nuts. The concept, the vibe of it was nuts. The whole flying and the levitating, like the meditation stuff of kind of like the or or tail destroying all the light bulbs, uh light bulbs of we can do anything, you know? Um, they're limitless, they're superhuman, they're fire truck, whatever. Like they this is like the ultimate one two seven song for me. Like for me, this this is I can't score it. I can't score it. I can't score it because it would be unfair to all songs ever. Cause I know right now what I'm feeling. And the score that I want to give it is super unrealistic. <laughs> but I think that should be enough of a barometer for how much I love this song already on just two listens. Um, the video is also glamorous, splashy, uh, kind of likens back to like the mid-2000s, kind of that weird Fergie glamorous, that weird like mystique sort of vibe. Uh, like it, it, it's it's slow, but at the same time, it's really intense and sexy. And wow, um, ayo. Okay, so I would like to know what did you guys think of ayo? I think this is my favorite NCT One Two Seven title track. Uh, probably even their song. Now I haven't heard the album, uh, the repackage that this is attached to, but ooh, so far, ayo. Uh, is a very, very high standard to live up to for a lot of 127 songs. Um, so I would like to know what you guys think, you know? Uh, my opinions are just my own, you know? Like, maybe you guys prefer a different title track. But uh, let me know what you guys thought about the album, too. I'm definitely going to be doing a listening party for it in February. So if you guys want to check it out, you can come join our Patreon, as we mentioned before. We do bonus reactions over there. Uh, if you want to see more uh, NCT content, uh, we check out bonus drops, and we are actually going to be checking out uh, more NCT content in February. So uh, come join us if you want to. Uh, we're going to have a schedule posted for you by at the latest February 2nd. Of course, you don't have to support us monetarily if you don't want to. If you want to support us for free, well, the best ways to do so are to like the video down below. Make sure to leave a comment because one, I want to hear what you guys have to say. And two, helps out with the search engine algorithm. And of course, you can always subscribe over here as well. We really appreciate it. Check out our other videos over here and have a wonderful rest of your day. See you next time, guys. Bye.